Alright, yo, what's going on everybody? It's Smitty back with another Minecraft tutorial video. Today, guys, I'm going to show you how to download custom Minecraft Bedrock worlds for all the Bedrock consoles. Again, this is Bedrock, and these are going to be Parkour worlds, Skyblock worlds, Adventure maps, whatever you want. I'll show you guys how to download those on your Bedrock consoles. Any subscriptions or likes are greatly appreciated. Leave your comments, questions down below in the comments. And let's get right into this. Okay, so the first console we're going to be looking at is the Xbox. So in order to get this on the Xbox, you actually have to download an application. It's called MC Add-ons Manager. So go to the Microsoft Store, simply type in MC Add-ons Manager just like this. And this is the icon right here in the top left that you want to look at. You want to download that, install that, make sure you have that owned. We'll be using that later, so just make sure you have that installed. So after completing that, you want to go back to the home screen of your Xbox, go down to My Games and Apps right here, you want to go down to Apps, and then go right here and open up Microsoft Edge. Every Xbox should have this installed. Then what you want to do is you want to go to the top middle search bar right here, and you want to type in mcpedal.com, just like I have it right there. Type that in, mcpedl.com, just like that. Link in the description if you need it. Anyways, that'll take you to this website right here, and once you're here, what you want to do is go to the top here, this drop-down arrow where it says Maps. Now once you click on this, you'll see all the different categories of maps that you can download. You got parkour, mini games, modded, all all these crazy things go through those pick whichever category you want just pick something go look through all these maps there are so many to pick from it's awesome and just decide which one you want there is also a search bar so if you want to specifically pick out a map you can type it in and it may show up but anyways once you find a map I'm gonna go with this sea view redstone house right here you just want to simply click on it just like that it'll take you to another page where it shows you all the details all the information a few pictures about it and with many of these maps if you're having problems they'll tell you how to install it right here but what you want to do mainly is you want to scroll down until you find a link that says downloads right here and you want to see that it says MC world at the end of it right there it says redstonehouse.mcworld that's what you want under the downloads and you just simply want to click that now this was an easy download and you'll see after I click that on the bottom of the screen here it gives me this little prompt where it says I can save as you want to click save as after you click download and right here you want to make sure it says this device and downloads on the top left if you do that you're in the right spot and literally all you have to do is click save just like that and it will go into your downloads folder it'll tell you that it's downloaded and that's all you need to do that simple so after downloading your map there is one more step what I would do is simply close out of the Internet Explorer, just close out of everything, and now what you want to do is go into that application that we downloaded earlier called MC Add-ons Manager. So go ahead and open up MC Add-ons Manager. So once the application loads, what you want to do is go to the top right here where it says import. You want to go click on that button right there, and now it'll take you to your downloads folder. And this is where you just uh, literally downloaded that world too. So what you want to do is look around for that .mc world ending of the uh, file that you just downloaded. So for mine down here, it's the redstonehouse.mc world down here at the bottom. And all you want to do is click on it. It'll import it. It'll say importation complete. And that's all you got to do. You can then simply uh, click close, and you'll now have that world imported onto your Minecraft. And you should be able to find it, close out of everything, and open up Minecraft. And when when you open it up the world will actually be right there it's pretty awesome so you open up minecraft you go to play like you usually would and then once you look in your world it'll literally be sitting there usually it's on the top you might have to do a little bit of looking for it but as you can see right there the underwater redstone build is exactly right there i can it's literally just like any other world i can edit the privileges and stuff i can open it up i can play it look around it's awesome and i just on a side note if the world does not import cor uh, correctly that probably means that the world is not compatible with xbox but most of the worlds are compatible so you should be good to download many worlds and simply explore them so what I'm going to do now is show you how to download another world because most uh, worlds don't quite download that easy. They actually redirect you to a, a site called Link for Ties. So this right here is my parkour world that I want to download. I go to the bottom, I click download, and for this download, what it says is that I'm actually leaving MC Pedal. But that's completely fine. You just want to click here to continue as it said, and now it'll load up a website called Link for Ties. Validate that you're not a robot. Just click that box. But once you're on this website, you'll see all this stuff right here. You want to be careful and just follow this tutorial to show you what to click on. So if your download takes you to Link for Ties, what you want to do is look for this spot where it says free access with ads right here. Then what you want to do is click free access with ads and it'll disappear. Then what you want to do is scroll up a little ways to where you see discover interesting articles. What you want to do is click on this uh, discover interesting articles right here and then it should pop up with about 9 articles and all you have to do is sit here and look at them for about 15 seconds. Don't click any of them. Sit there and look at them 15 seconds, let it load. And then all you want to do is go up to the right, right uh, top right here and you just want to click the X and it'll close out of the articles. So once you close out, you'll look at Discover Interesting Articles. It'll now have a green check mark by it, and all you want to do is simply press Continue right below it, and then that'll actually take you to the Downloads page. Usually it's a media fire page. And then from here, all you want to do is click the Download button. Uh, if it opens up another tab like this, close out of the new tab, stay on this page, and then click the Save As button. And again, make sure that it's in this device downloads. Hit Save. Save it to your downloads. Go back into uh, MC Add-ons Manager and import it into your Minecraft world. All that to get some sick worlds, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, anything, leave it down below. I'll be sure to answer. You can invite friends to these worlds. You can edit these worlds just like any other world. You can do whatever you want. Enjoy the worlds, guys. And if you have any questions, remember, don't be afraid to ask in the comments. Let's move on.
So next up we have the Windows 10 edition, which is just Bedrock on PC. What you want to do, very simple, go to the internet, type in mcpedal.com, just like that. Once you type that in, it'll take you to this website. Once you're on this website, you want to go to the top here where it says Maps right there. Again, these are all your options, so many to choose from. You got Redstone, Creation, all these crazy things. Go through, find whichever map you want. There's so many options, you can sort them by most popular, you can search for maps. Find something you want. So the world I'm gonna download is right here, this theme park right here. It looks pretty awesome. All you wanna do once you find your world is click on it. You wanna scroll down past all these pictures, all this information to where it says downloads right here. It should say .mc world, that's perfect. All you want to do is simply click download right there. If it says you're leaving MC Pedal, that's quite all right. And all you have to do is just find this download, click it, get it downloading, and once it starts downloading, you'll see it in the top right right here. The uh, You'll see the .mc world file. And literally, all you have to do is click open file on it. And once you click open file on this, it'll literally open up Minecraft, take you right into Windows 10 edition. It'll say it's imported successfully. All you have to do is go to where you play and it'll be installed in your maps right there. I can literally see the theme park, it's on the top. So yeah, go ahead, load that up. You can literally just do whatever you want with that world. Invite friends, edit the permissions, uh, just enjoy it guys. And of course you can literally download as many of these worlds as you want. And it's that simple. It's like two clicks and you literally have it on your Minecraft world. A lot of fun. That's Windows 10 Edition. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments down below. And let's move on to the next Pocket Edition. So if you're on Pocket Edition and you want to download worlds, what you want to do is go onto the internet and search up mcpedl.com just like that. Pop it if you need to type that in search it up and it'll take you to this website right here once on the website you want to go to the top left here with these three lines and you want to click on that and then you'll see the maps right here the, under the map section you have all the different categories of maps that you can download obviously if you want skyblock creative worlds whatever you want look it up there's a search bar also if you want to do that but go ahead and look through these worlds until you find one that you want to download now the one i'm going to download for this video is this super mansion right here redstone mansion it looks pretty sweet so what you want to do is click on the world that you're interested in, just like this and it'll take you to another page once you're on this page you can scroll past all the information all the pictures and you want to go down to the bottom and you want to look for a button that says download.mc world once you find this link all you want to do is simply click on it if it says you're leaving mc pedal that's quite all right just just hit okay on that it'll take you to a website and what you want to do is just click download and you want to make sure that you download a dot zip file just like this so you click download it'll go to the top right up here and it should be right there so then all you want to do is click on that zip file and it'll actually take you over to your file manager and what you want to do is look for the zip file right here in your files and you want to click on it to unzip the folder just like this so it should say however many items right here this blue folder is what you want and what you want to do is hold on that and then what will happen once you hold on it it'll actually come up with these options and what you want to do is click move right here and once you press move it'll take you over to all these different options right here and what you want to do is find minecraft right here you want to click on minecraft after you do that you want to open that up and you want to go down to where it says minecraft worlds right here all you want to do is simply press minecraft worlds once is all you have to do it'll pop up with all the minecraft worlds on your phone we just want to ignore that and go up to the top here where it says move on the top right you want to press move and that's literally all you have to do it'll move it into your minecraft worlds folder and you will be good to close out of everything and go open up minecraft pocket edition so once you're in here just go click play look through all the worlds as always and there it is the house is right there the one that i downloaded and of course, you can just simply click play on it. You can edit permissions, edit the game mode, do whatever you want. It's your world now. You downloaded it. It's perfect. And go ahead and enjoy the map. So that's how you download Pocket Edition maps. You can invite friends to this world. Do whatever you want. Keep downloading maps. Do whatever. It's little years. And uh, yeah, hopefully you all enjoy it. If you have any questions, of course, leave it down in the comments down below. I'd be willing to help. But uh, let's move on to the PS4 edition of Minecraft. So when it comes to PlayStation, this is actually very unfortunate, very annoying, but on PS4 and all those consoles, you literally cannot download worlds on your own because PS4 is very difficult with downloading and managing files. So I'm sorry guys, there's not really any good way to do this, but I'll try to explain to you guys how you host these PS4 worlds. So what you have to do with PS4 is you have to have somebody else on another console, it could be your second Microsoft account, download a, uh, a custom world on their PC, on their phone, on their Xbox, and you actually have to have them host the world for you so you can join on PS4. It's very inconvenient. That's about the only way to do this because again, PS4 is very difficult. So I'll show you guys the easiest way to get this done so you can get some custom worlds for your PS4. Okay, so using this tutorial, I'm on my PC now, and what I did was I downloaded a custom world, a custom skyblock world that I want my PS4 player to join. What you want to do is go into this world, you want to make sure you have multiplayer game on, and you just simply want to open up the world. Now you want to make sure that this PC Microsoft account that it's linked to and the PS4 Minecraft account are different accounts that they can join off each other. But once that world's opened up, go over to your PS4, and once you're in here, click play, and once you're here, you want to go over, you want to hit R1 and go to friends, and then you should be able to see find cross-platform players. It should show up right there. That is the custom world. And the best way to do this is just simply join the other account. I'm sorry, like I literally, I don't know if there's any good way to do it on PS4 besides this. This still does give you access to the uh, to the worlds. But yeah, I'll just show a little side by side here. So on the left side, you actually have my PS4 gameplay. On the right side, you have my PC account. But yeah, like you can host worlds on your phone also and join on your PS4. So it's not terrible. It is, again, like the only way to do this on PS4 to enjoy the experience of having these custom worlds. 
But uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions on this, let me know in the comments down below. I can definitely help you out. Sorry, this is probably a little underwhelming, but again, it's PS4 and Sony never makes it easy to do this stuff. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, that's pretty much the best way to get these worlds on PS4. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this helped you out and I appreciate you making it this far. All right, so that's how to download custom Minecraft Bad Rock worlds that other people have made on all these different consoles. Hopefully it helped you guys out. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Again, any questions, comments, leave it down below. Uh, if I forgot something, let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been Smitty. Until the next one, peace out everyone and have a great rest of your day.